Well, tonight in our new series, Facing Fertility, we take a look at the emotional and financial journey of in vitro fertilization or IVF. Infertility affects millions of Americans, as many as one in eight couples, and many suffer in silence. CBS's Nikki Batiste has the story of one couple's struggle to start a family. After a year of trying to have a child, Kristen Connolly and Matt Smith learned they each were facing fertility problems. It was kind of a shock, honestly. So at 36, they turned to IVF, a weeks-long process designed to stimulate egg growth. Mature eggs are then retrieved, fertilized with sperm in a lab, and monitored to see if they become embryos. After four unsuccessful rounds of IVF, the couple tried an egg donor. It's such a big decision. Was mm -hmm. it a difficult one? Oh, yeah. Am I going to relate with the child because it's not my genetics? With donor eggs, Kristen and Matt did three more embryo transfers. All ended in miscarriages. I think that was a hard pill to swallow. They're not alone. So many people struggle in silence with infertility and never talk about it. Desperately hoping to have a second child after having our son Bo naturally, but also after suffering two miscarriages. My husband and I turned to IVF at 42. For women under 35, the chance of having a baby after a single IVF cycle is about 41%, but by age 42, it's down to just 9%. Dr. Eric Foreman is my fertility doctor. Even with our ability to get multiple eggs and make multiple embryos, most of them cannot go on and make a healthy baby. And so most IVF cycles are not successful. These are tanks where we maintain frozen eggs and embryos. In fact, your embryos are in this tank. Wow. After four rounds of IVF, we had just one viable embryo, which my husband and I transferred in November. We just found out that my pregnancy test is positive. We're so grateful and in shock. Wow. Weeks later, Kristen and Matt also got a positive pregnancy test. Their latest transfer had worked. Kristen and Matt are 13 weeks along in their pregnancy, and I am 22 weeks pregnant. IVF is expensive, costing about $12,000 for one cycle without insurance. Nora, my husband, and I are so grateful. We have some fertility insurance through my CBS benefits, which made this possible. I know, and not every state mandates that companies do that, so it's a difficult journey. Thank you so much for sharing your story and others. Thank you.